Hey everyone, so today we're going to be performing uh, TG51, Absolute Reference Clinical Dosimetry. Today we're only going to be shooting for photons on our edge machine. Our edge machine is uh, calibrated to deliver one centigrade per monitor unit at 100 SSD for a fill size of 10 by 10. So this is the equipment that we're going to be using. We have our IBA uh, tank which is uh, currently filled with water. We have our barometer, which also will be a measuring our temperature and pressure for our temperature and pressure correction factors. We have our TG51 ionization chamber, which is a N313 chamber, 0.6 cc's. And we also have our electrometer here. Now, one thing to note, if your electrometer and your uh, ion chamber are sent out as a unit, your PLEC will be one. If not, then essentially you will be using the PLEC that is listed on your uh, electrometer. One thing to note about the electrometer is if you set your bias to minus 100 or plus 100, that essentially means that you're at full collection for plus or minus 300 volts. One quick thing to do is to ensure that you set it to the correct voltage. You can also do a check bias, which essentially will tell you what bias that you're set at. Let's begin. So now we're gonna go ahead and attach our front pointer accessory to the uh, head of the gantry here. Make sure it's snapped in so that your lights are green. That means that it's securely in place. Then our front pointer here, we're going to attach. For this, we're going to turn the room lights back on so we can look at the scale. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now we're going to take our uh, front pointer off. We're gonna wipe it, and then we're gonna do it one. Oh, you don't want to do it that. Oh, okay. There's like a two-way method that John showed us. Like you set it first just so that that little tension, that surface tension gets released, and then we put it back in a second time. And then when we see that th there's not that much surface tension, then we know that it's confirmed at 100, but that's not important, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. I guess we'll do it quick. So then, now, uh, oh, still shooting. Oh, okay. So now, um, now that we have confirmed our ODI, I'm sorry, now that we confirmed our front pointer is actually at 100 SSD for the water surface, now we just wanna make sure that the sensitive volume of the chamber is actually um, at the crosshairs of the gantry. So we'll go ahead, we'll turn off the lights. We'll turn on the gantry lights here, a trick that you can do is you can use a piece of white paper, position it under your tank, and then look at the shadow of the ion chamber and the crosshairs. That essentially will help you to position your ion chamber into place. Turn our lasers off now. 
And what we'll do is we'll also float the couch if need be. Right. So now we're going to go in and out. Okay. Now we should be ready to shoot. Yeah, come. Yeah, I can't see it that well. I usually use like that white piece. Uh, let's see. Yeah, like right up to the tip. Yeah. All right. So I guess that's a video we're we'll edit. Just rolling with it. This is real life. You've got it right on the tip, right in the center. There we go. Hey, that's not bad. That's All right. Good. That's pretty good. Now, right. make sure left and right is good. Now the table's locked. Also looking for symmetry. If you look at from the uh, tank from this side, uh, if you see that there's a full circle, that also means that it's symmetrical and it's actually at um, the center of the sensitive volume of the chamber is at 100 SSD. Let's go to 10. Let's go to 10. All right. So now let's drop our ion chamber to a depth of 10 cm. In order to do so, you have your controller here. So we already set our origin to uh, 100. The way that you can do that is you go to basic setup. You'll hit enter. You'll also hit enter again to set origin. And then the value you will store as your uh, user origin. Now, it states that it's at an actual depth of zero 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 so that means that it's set at our origin so now let's drop it 10 cm we'll exit origin setup now we'll go to direct move hit enter oh numerical we'll go to numerical input <laughs> and then now we'll set to a depth of 10 cm And you are correct. Okay. So that's one mistake that you also can uh, take note of that you can make. So our depth should be a positive increase from your zero origin to uh, 10 CF, which is 100 millimeters. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to use this particular instrument to confirm that the ion chamber is at a depth of 10 CM. Mm -hmm. Right. So we confirm that our ion chamber is at a depth of 10. Our water surface is at 100 SSD. Now, one thing we want to do is, since our water has been in this tank for some time and has stabilized, we can go ahead and take temperature and pressure. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, warm up our um, edge. And so we're going to set 100 actually to a thousand monitor units. We're gonna shoot a 6X beam. 
we're going to max dose rate of 600 and we're also going to set our um, draws to a 10 by 10 field size we're going to hit go to if you look at this screen essentially you see that your jaws are moving and now we're going to hit prepare And then when the MV ready light illuminates, then we're gonna hold that for approximately one or two seconds and then hit MV beam on. So, in the essence of time, we're going to hit beam off because I think we uh, warmed up our edge uh, for a six second beam good enough. And then now we're going to get ready to actually do uh, TG51. So, our field size is set at 10 by 10. Our electrometer is set to the correct bias, which is a minus uh, 100, which is actually minus 300 volts. And now we're going to beam on. So we're going to take an average of three raw readings. And so all right, so we're going to load our uh, first energy. Uh, we have our 6x that's loaded. We are going to set 100 monitor units, uh, max dose rate, and also a field size of 10 by 10. Uh, one thing on the electrometer to take a note of we're going to set our bias to minus 100, which is technically minus 300 volts. Um, you can adjust the sensitivity in order for you to get additional sig figs. And each time you take a reading, you can hit the zero check to clear and start over. If you're uncertain of what bias it's set to, you can scroll to the right where it says bias check. And essentially, that'll tell you uh, what the actual bias is set to. Now. You hit prepare. Now we're ready to shoot. We're going to take an average of uh, three readings for our M minus raw. All right, so now we have our average of uh, three readings for our M minus raw. Now we're going to change our bias to plus 100 so that we can get our uh, plus 300 uh, volt readings.
All right. So now we've been able to collect our M plus raw and our M minus raw reading. And now, as TG51 recommends, we're going to drop our bias to 50% of M minus raw because M minus raw is what was used for us to set up our uh, calibration for our machine. Still going to shoot 100 MUs and still going to be a 10 by 10 fill size. All right, so now, all right, so now we have our Excel spreadsheet loaded. Essentially, we're going to enter the values. So this was our temperature and pressure that uh, we recorded at our uh, treatment machine. So we're going to enter those values in, which we already done. And now that we have all of our raw readings, you can essentially start to see any trends in our um, um, for our MUs. Uh, let's see here. So a couple of things about our spreadsheet. We have our absorbed dose to water calibration factor, which we've documented here. Our P elect, which we have documented here. Our um, percentage that dose 10 with contamination and 10 X, X-ray only without contamination. We're not too concerned about this since we are taking measurements at a 10 uh, cm depth for photon energies. Um, and uh, as you can see here, we're now uh, tracking to be 0.26% high than what we've actually calibrated. And so this it will need to be adjusted. So in order for us to adjust, we're going to go into service mode and we're going to go into access and we're going to actually input 1.26 um, as our new value because it's essentially our machine. This is what we're telling our machine. Is. All right. So in order for us to now adjust our um, uh, MUs, we're going to go to uh, beam tuning. And in the beam tuning tab here, we stated that our machine was 0.263% high. And so what we want to do is we want to set our standard MUs to be 100.263. So instead of going to three six figs, we'll just use two. And the reason why we're doing 100.26 is essentially because we know that our machine is calibrated for 100 MUs to equal to 100 centigrade. So now we're going to hit calibrate. Now notice that you get an invalid dose cal result. Try again. This pops up because you have not run a beam. So in order for you to be able to change or edit any of the MU values here, you need to have a beam that has been ran. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead hit prepare, shoot our beam, and then now we'll also be able to change it. One thing that you should be mindful of is that since our last measurement taken was at 50% of the bias, we'll go ahead and make sure that we change it to back to uh, minus 100, which is 300 volts. All right, so now, you can hit calibrate and now you see dose cal recommended settings now we're able to go ahead and change these values so we're going to click yes all right 
So now our settings have been saved and now we can go ahead and measure uh, once more. So we're gonna take three more measurements. going to go ahead and record those measurements. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to go ahead and uh, shoot our final All right, so now our MU adjust now has reflected that we're now within a 0.700 of a percent difference, which essentially is as close to zero as we will probably get. 